I want to introduce multi, multi world champion in more than one division. He's coming in, I guess, with his family. Sad. Super Junior. It's always uh, hurtful and uh, disappointing to lose at home. You know what I'm saying? To lose, uh, you know, when you are uh, born and raised that. You know, especially to a situation like this. You know, what I mean, I mean, to have to punch in this fight. You know, I mean, people can tell, people can say what they want to say. You know, go get them, do this, rush them, tell them. It's me. When I go at a person, and I feel like you know, I, I tried to do what I did, and. He stayed away from good. Uh, you said, uh, can you explain the uh, knockdown at all? I don't know. I didn't see it. Maybe you show it to me. Now, do you expect to be back? Say it again? Do you expect to keep fighting? Of course. Sam, did you feel that you didn't throw your hands? Did you just didn't let your hands go? Did you feel that? Of course. Yeah, I thought that, um, different. You know what I'm he, he did a good job of just pulling, just pulling away, you know what I'm saying? Like my jab, I counted his jab a lot. I took his jab away and hit it with my jab a lot, you know what I mean? But um, Paulie just kept it moving, you know? First four rounds were amazing. I mean, he he didn't close his, I mean, you know, just closing the distance was, you know, kind of a tough situation and I just couldn't get it over. I mean, like I said, those first four rounds, you did what you did and then after that, it looked like you just froze up, like you just controlled his hands. Mm -hmm. His timing was pretty good. He had a good time in the night. Can't take nothing, nothing away from him, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep it real. And, you know, you win some, you lose some, but you gotta just be a man about it. You know, one thing about me, y'all watch me for years. I'm far from a sucker. You know, I keep, I'm gonna keep it real. You know what I mean? He, listen, tonight, we worked hard. We, gave, we had a great training camp. You know, tonight he just did a couple things more that just threw us off a little bit. It's okay. Zab, uh... This is the first time you went to 147 in a few years. Did yeah. that have anything to do with the outcome? No, we made the weight fine. We made the weight fine. Um, it was great. It wasn't like we was in there with um, Mike Tyson or nothing. You know what I mean? I mean, so it was pretty good. I mean, he never hurt me, stung me, nothing like that. He just, like I said, that little pity patter, quick, you know, stuff is like, you know, you find yourself, you find yourself reaching and, and, and swinging that stuff that's, you know what I mean? Like, because of his movement, you know what I mean? His little timing and stuff like that, so. It's all good, though. Zach, did you think at some point, um, did you 
think at some point uh, that he would get brave. <clears throat> brave I, I was hoping. Happened. I was hoping. That, that that was my whole plan. You know, if you kept watching, I, I kept trying to just go forward, just kept walking. I figured that maybe he would just get brave and just you know try to exchange with me. And just never got to that moment. Zab, it seemed like his speed kind of froze you. That you no, couldn't do what you wanted to do. Did you feel, was he quicker than you thought he was? Or no, no it wasn't that. Just, like, you, when you watch the fight back, watch the replay, the little timing that he had, like that little that movement he does, is like, kind of threw me off a little bit. And I'm like, like what you doing? Like, you know, and he, he knows how to move it and pop off it. Move it and pop off it, you know what I mean? So it was pretty good. Zav, is your future at 147, or do you think you go back down? Um, I don't know. I feel comfortable with it. I feel strong tonight. You know, I had a strong training camp. I have a lot of young, undefeated guys that I work with. You know, and I, you know, young guys. And you know, I did. I, I would do pretty uh, great against them. And just I don't know, man. Mm. Tonight, you just, just sometimes it be like that. You just, just you know, you might work harder and. You get to that night and it just don't, it just don't click. Zach, um, obviously you didn't take a lot of punishment or anything like that. No. Um, is this the kind of... I wish that. that if it would have been punishment, then I would have probably been standing there with the Brooklyn belt right now. But that means that we would have had to engage in a war. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I think the, the most war we had was about what, this last 30 seconds of the fight? In 12 rounds? That was the biggest uh, rollout. But in, after a loss like this, does it make you think about giving it up, or do you just? Oh man, you know me. I'm, I'm never a quitter, man. I'm never a quitter, man. I, I don't know how to quit. I don't know how to quit. Anytime anybody steps up to challenge and challenge me, I'm right there. I'm in their chest. You know what I mean? So, as far as you hear about me quitting, man, I ain't, that's that's far from it. Between the 11th and 12th, uh, in which? Oh, pardon me, I'm sorry. Question for Yoel. Yoel, your assessment of uh, the performance, what did you see out there from Zeff tonight and from Pauly? Uh, I mean, my son, he, uh, I mean, he fought good, you know what I mean? I was encouraging him to do a lot more, uh, and he was trying to give it to me. And then someone, I think after the fourth round, fifth round, he cramped up pretty bad, his legs. So we was trying to work with that, and but I wanted to get close. I wanted to make it a fight instead of boxing. Get close and fight for it. I kept telling him, and uh, I thought Paulie, anytime Zab would close the distance and get close to him, he would he would, he would destroy him. You know what I mean? But I just couldn't get him to get close to Paulie and let his hands go. And when he did do it, the bell would ring or it would end. Um, I don't know. I just wanted him to make it a more of a fight. Bring it to him. The whole house of home, like the whole fight. You got to bring it to him. You know what I'm saying? And uh. I don't know if the cramping had something to do with it. He said that Paulie had a little funny move where he, you know, he just he would just throw him off. So, you know, like he said, Zab is a great champion. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, you like he said, you win some, you lose some, you know what I mean? But you um, know, I mean a lot of people, you know, we expect this for this to happen, but it's life. And um so, I mean he he he'll be there. I mean one thing about it I wanna to say too, you know, my dad in my corner, they, they kept telling me all oh, the right things, guys. I mean, I take nothing away from those guys. Those guys, you had the right game plan. But sometimes when you when you're in there, you know, people would tell you what to do, but it just don't. It, you know, my dad was saying, "Go get them." And every time I went to get them, I just found myself being like, I, I felt myself personally stopping. I felt like I was lunging with my left hand and trying to swing with my hooks. And you know, he, you know, Paulie was he was using his speed and his uh, great boxing ability to just keep me out balance. Before you, before you leave, um, now that you fought Danny Garcia, you fought Paulie, you were talking about a future match for Paulie with Danny Garcia. You fought the, you fought both of them. How do you think they would do? Um, you know, Danny gonna have to just do the same thing that I was told. That I was told to do tonight. If he would fight Paulie, you gotta go get him. Because Paulie's not gonna engage in no fight. You can forget about that. He's gonna stay outside and use his good jab and his, and his lateral movement and sidestepping. And you know, he's gonna box his way into a, a decision. You know, Paulie comes, Paulie trains for 12 rounds. He comes because the body is nothing powerful with him, nothing like that, you know. 
And you know, I mean, with that little herky jerky style, it's pretty good. I mean, but you know, let's see if Danny can pull it off. You never know. Thank you, Zach. Give it up for Zach.